Hey. So as you've seen from the title, um, this is not a new video. Considering I've all but ended the incel and femcel videos, um, I think, you know, we dug as deep as we can. We know they're all degenerate idiots, you know, let's move on. Uh, I thought I'd put those videos into a compilation, uh, first with the incel side of things this week, and then maybe in a couple weeks' time, do the femcel side of things, and wrap it up in a nice bow, where everyone who's new or hasn't seen all the videos can go, oh, I'm going to watch this whole however long compilation this is, and kind of get caught up on the law. A second reason why I'm putting this all together um, is because I'm lazy, and if you've been here for a while and you don't know that yet, well... <laughs> Wake up. It's time to wake up, alright? I'm a lazy so-and-so. And if you haven't figured that out by now, what's inside your brain? A worm? RFK, is that you? Anyway, that's enough of me yapping on. Um, I hope you enjoy this compilation compendium uh, while you're watching. Or, you know what? Who am I to tell you what to do? Don't enjoy it if you don't want. That's fine with me as well. You can do whatever you please. Free. It's a free country. I was going to say free world, but not, not all free, is it? I don't know what I'm saying. Here's the video. Uh... Another one. Another one bites the dust. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's you. It's, on... no, it's all you. It's all, it's all you. It's all you. <laughs> Stop, please. Please. No, seriously. Let's get seriously with it right now. Let's, in, in all seriousness, let's get serious right now, okay? All right, all right enough of joking around, enough. Ha ha ha, hoo hoo hoo, he he he. Stop, enough. I feel I have neglected this group for a little bit. Been a bit over a month since I visited them. And before that, it was well over a few years. And I feel bad. I feel bad because I should be seeing what they're doing more often. I should be keeping up with them, like the Kardashians. Like the Kardashians if they were not successful, or women, mostly. We're back on the incel subreddit. I think it's really fitting that there's a subreddit about incels actually, because I feel like Reddit and incels go kind of, you know, hand in hand. Um, so I think it makes sense. And it feels really good, it feels like I'm, you know, getting the band back together. Uh, I am only one man, so that's, I guess, I am the solo artist coming out of retirement and I'm getting my life together and releasing a new album after decades. That's what it feels like, even though it's only been a bit over a month. But before that it was a few years, so I guess it's like a double album drop, really. Will one be worse than the other because it's so close together? Probably, but we'll see. Might surprise you. Why are incels obsessed with their sisters? Is this like in a loving way? Like, oh, my sister's the best. My guess is probably not. We can always hope. There's always hope. Sometimes there isn't, but sometimes there is. Most of the time there is, I feel. But again, sometimes there isn't. And I feel like this is the time where there is no hope. So, just give up. Grim Reaper said, Nice guy is really doxing his own blood on a honeypot. Well, that's not a good starting sentence. True that, my nice gentleman. She deserves it. And in point of fact, she actually deserves to have me inflict rape upon her. <laughs> what is there to say? Well, there's probably plenty to say, but I don't think it needs to be said. I think we can all just envision it in our minds, what I would say. The only thing that is stopping me is such incestuous affairs would result in abominable offspring. Well, at least, bar everything else, you don't want to have an incestuous child, that's... Wow, you've really... You've really surprised me there. You've really, really come leaps and bounds from the first uh, few sentences. Um, the one good thing that came from this is uh, we know that you won't have your creepy little kids uh, walking around inheriting this earth. I thank you? No. I sent you to death. If I had a sister, I would be fucking her in her sleep every night. You see why I didn't do a video about these fellas for like two years? Case in point, this one's labelled under brutal. Do you guys like my new Shrek Sona? Sad. I keep getting called Shrek in real life, so I'm going full ogre. <laughs> that sounds fun. Good luck on your endeavour. You like mocking lonely men who have been so mistreated by society? Joker reference, probably. That we have to resort to disgusting acts like rape in order to ever have sex? That's the thing. You don't have to. 
That's why there's this thing where they say we're different to animals, where we have that part of our brain that's kind of, you know, self-control. And you may be lonely and mistreated by society, Joker, uh, but you don't have to. You don't have to commit such heinous acts. There is hope for you yet. Well, maybe not, but there, you just don't have to. Have you ever thought about why we think this way? We're deprived of basic needs according to Maslow's hierarchy of needs reproduction. <laughs> At least you're reading, I, that's, a, that's a positive we can pull out of that. We are angry and bitter due to how unfairly Foids have treated us. <laughs> fucking Battlestar Galactica type language, what the hell? Man, the fucking grobbly gogs have been treating us so bad, I think it's time, and I think it's fair for us to commit unspeakable acts, okay? How are we meant to feel about that if not angry? Pleased? Yes. My brother in Christ, there is more to life than sex. Beers with the boys? Uh... Talking to the boys? Um... Just hanging out with the fellas? There is... Button down with the brothers? So many things that are just coming off the top of my head. Pleased? Happy that any girl we like will always never go for us? Maybe just give up. I don't know. I, I've got nothing for you. This isn't an advice column. This is me judging you. You're being judged by me. Dating is a loser's game. Yeah, I think that as well because, yeah, I also think it's a loser's game. That's why I don't date. I don't even understand why people actually put up with the mode of social bonding. Uh, it's because we're human, brother. It's one of the things that, like, humans are known for. Putting yourself out there all while having to vet through dozens of potential mates. <laughs> You might have better luck if you stop calling people you want to date mates. It's vastly inferior to courtship. Okay, Romeo. I... Or just finding someone through a common interest. What do you think fucking... What do you think that is? What do you think dating is? Not to mention it literally only served to feed women hypergamous instincts. What does that even mean? I just, stop using words that I don't get, okay? Fuck dating. All my homies buy their wives instead. Oh, God. Found this on my TikTok for you page by accident. Remember to not smile at femoids. Again, with the Klingon. Femoids? What is it, like a bot? Do we have to keep making up words? Can we not just leave the English language where it is, alright? It's already big enough and hard enough to learn. Not like that. Every time you walk past a female, do not smile. Just scowl at them and make eye contact. Smiling at them makes them think you like them. Yes, you wouldn't want that. Isn't that the whole incel thing? Women don't like me. Wah, wah, wah. Fucking pick a lane. Do you want women to hate you or like you? At some point you're like, oh, women just don't get me. They don't understand. I just, I, you know, I'm such a, like, cool guy. I'm just such a swell guy. I'm such a nice guy. Why don't they like me? I'm always nice to them. On the other fucking foot, you're going, don't smile at them. Don't look at them. Don't give them any satisfaction whatsoever. Don't look at them in the eye, okay? Make sure they know that you hate them. Understand? It's a it's a disconnected message, all right? If I was an incel, I'd be confused. I'd be like, what's happening? What what am I doing? It's like a guy walking up to an incel with two red pills that do two different things but look the same. Which one is it? Now, I know that a 14-year-old Freud being fucked by an older adult could cause lots of problems for her. You know what the profit muscle? I... terrible name. Good stuff. I'm glad that you understand the severity of such an action. I give you props. Well done. But I just don't give a fuck to be honest. You ruined it. I take it back. You made me look a fool. Everyone watching this now thinks I'm an idiot. See what you've done? What you just said is bad, but what you just did to me, what you made me look like is worse. You made me look like an idiot. A moron, even. A scoundrel. Maybe not a scoundrel. A infidel. Again, I don't think the right word. Impotent? Never happened. Stupid. That's another word for idiot. Synonym? No. Yes. Yes, I'm correct. I can't watch porn anymore unless the guy has a small dick. <laughs> hey, everyone's got a preference, I guess, you know. I, I relate more to those big, ginormous, snake-like penises, you know. Uh, but that's just me, so each their own. Well, I am about up to here with this. I can't, I won't continue. I think I'm done. I think I've, I think I've looked through enough. I think I get the gist. I wanted to catch up, see what everyone was doing, what was happening with the fellas. And it seems like they're not doing too well. They are down. 
terribly. Even worse, they are, most of them, probably criminally insane. Has it got worse or better since I was last in this subreddit? Hard to tell. Most of it just shit. Ah, the incels. It's been a while. It's been a while, you know, I feel bad. I, f I do, I feel bad. I haven't visited them in a few months, I wanna say, three? Three months, maybe four? It's been a long time. I feel bad because it's like that friend that you have that you keep telling, oh yeah, we should catch up, we should catch up, and you just, you never do. And, you know, I don't, I don't wanna be that friend. I don't wanna keep saying, we'll catch up, and then never do, because, you know, what type of friend would I be? But I'm going back into the cesspit to see what are they up to? What are the incels up to? What's happening? How are they being? You know, what's been going on? Have they progressed in any way? Have they gotten worse? Um, you know, only I'll be able to see. Only me and God can really judge them and the rest of society, but mainly me and God. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's see what they've been up to because I'm curious. I want to see, are they, are they changed for the better? Fingers crossed. Funny how Foids and Femoids, ugh, okay, okay. Maybe they're still using the Battlestar Galactica language that they created, but that doesn't mean that they're still in their dastardly mindset. It's like learning a new language, you know, when you when you know two languages, sometimes you inter, intermix them, you know, you don't just forget the old language that you, that you knew first off. So maybe it's just a bit of, you know, misspeak. Are seen as these empathetic, motherly, caring, kind, gentle goddesses. Yeah, that's what I always think. When I think woman, I think goddess. So that's that's just where my head's at all the time. That's the I those two words go to hand in hand for me. But we find the total polar opposite in reality. There it is. We got them. Okay, so not a good start, but you know, not terrible. It could be worse. They could have threatened violence, and it's not come to that yet. So. Baby steps, baby steps. Women don't deserve equality, they deserve to be enslaved as punishment for what they've done to sub five men. I may have spoke too soon. And that's, that's on me. That's on me, you know. I often do that. I often speak too soon and too fast and speak without thinking. It is one of my greatest strengths and weaknesses all rolled into one. I can't believe I have to learn what sub five men means. Now, why do I have to Stop making me learn new words, okay? You're forcing me to learn a language I don't want to learn, okay? I can barely speak English. What is that? Is that like a, on a DEFCON scale? I don't know what that means. Thank God Black Pill Philosopher is finally speaking up because I was waiting and longing for him to speak on just anything, really, and uh, especially on the terms of women enslavement because uh, I think that's a really interesting uh, road to go down and if Black Pill Philosopher is not there talking about it, I don't want to hear anything, so thank God he's written a post. My favourite philosopher. Socrates can fucking do one, I say. I see some users on this forum say they don't want to have power over women. They want equal treatment for both genders. Good start so far. Alright. No, women don't deserve equality. God damn it. That's the, the hope that kills you, you know? I'm a glass half full type of guy. Yesterday, I picked up a glass of water that my mum asked me to pick up and she asked, how much water's in there? And I said, Mm, looks like it's about half full. Unlike my head, it's half empty. I have half a brain. They deserve to be enslaved for the pain and suffering they've caused to incels. Yes, none of it is self-inflicted. It's all because women, you know? Women be shopping, and that causes me pain, so... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Men don't have power over women, then women will do whatever they want. Yeah, yuck. <laughs> oh, I don't want them to have free will. Ugh. Without consequences. Well, I, be I think the consequences are uh, the law. You know, if I was if I was dictator of the world, there'd be more consequences for more trivial things, like people not waving when you give way to them and let them into the lane. Hey, I didn't have to let you into the lane just because you got your blinker on. Didn't have to do it, but I did. So I'm a nice guy. You didn't wave. Death by firing squad. So if you want more of those rules, then vote for me. I'm not up for any any election or anything, but you know, just to I might you know I might throw my hat in the ring one day for world leader of the world, not just a world leader. I will be the leader of the world. I want the world or nothing. The ball is in your court. Women being the gatekeepers of sex means power over sub five men. Again, what the, what the fuck does it, is there like sub one, two, three, four, five? Or does it go higher? Is there letters involved? Op, optimal A. 
These are sounding awfully like Transformers. I don't know what's going on. Taking away women's rights would be a step in the right direction. Oh, finally someone said it. <laughs> this is why under my regime, there would be less people on the internet. I've said this before and I said this again. People go, oh, it's the, it's the world's town square. Nope. No, 5% of people get on there, if they're lucky, 5%. I don't want to hear from every fucking Tom, Dick and Harry. They can fuck off. They can go write scrolls somewhere in a cave. I don't want to hear from them. Hey, may I have a try of your girlfriend? Joke's on you, buddy. I don't have one, idiot. So I've been watching you and Redacted since she joined my class, and I have to say, you two seem totally in love. Oh, it's nice. It's a nice little message. Nice little ray of sunshine to brighten their day, I'm glad. And I know you're dating, so I wanted to ask you something that might be a little strange. Before you do it, should you? That's that's the question that should be running through your mind. Would you ask it in real life? If no, don't send it. Just don't, don't do it. There's no point. It'll make an ass out of you and me. And I don't want to be an ass. I want to be a, just, a, just a guy, just a fella, just a bloke. That's all I want to be. I don't want to be an ass. I want to be the full human. It's a little bit about me. Could you maybe break up with her? That seems like a fair request, could you? You know, I think you should consider what he's asking, if only he said please. If he said please, then you should go, you know what, you make a great point. I will, thanks. But because he didn't say please, then I think it's your right to not do it. So, because I was thinking about it, and I realized that the situation with you is not ideal. Yeah, you're in the way, can you like, scooch over, please? Yuck. I've experienced handling autistic people. I'm also older and a little more mature than you. No offense. Ah, oh, none taken. I just am not mature enough and don't know how to handle the autism. You know, that's I'm not offended. So I think it'd be really best for Redacted if you two broke up. Let me have a try. Because I find her really pretty and I have a massive crush on her. Yeah, um, you've had your time in the sun, buddy. So I think you should break up, okay? Because it's my turn now, okay? My turn, come on. Hand, hand her over. He's talking about it like she's an Xbox controller. Hey, hey, you've had three goes. We said three deaths, okay? Three deaths, and then we switch over. And then I die three times, then you get it back, okay? This is your fourth. My turn. Hand it over. Come on. I would treat her like a princess and make sure she has everything she needs. So if you really love her, I think you should give the proposal a thought. <laughs> if you're a really good guy, and if you loved her dearly with all your heart, then you would do the right thing and hand her over to me. Come on. You know it's the right thing to do, bud. Okay, you claim to love her with all your heart. I don't know. You're not exactly breaking up with her and giving her to me. So, if you actually did love her, you would let her go into my arms. I believe that's how the song goes. I know shitloads of normie guys that have sex. It's not as easy for them as it is for chads, of course. But they still get it. How, bro? Uh, I think it's in the name. They're normal. So that, I think that helps. I think if you're semi-somewhat normal and aren't fucking insane, and have some splitting brain disease that you just can't fucking claw your way out of, I think that probably helps. I think that probably puts you in good stead for possibly, eventually, having a crack. And by a crack, I mean sex. <laughs> so, <laughs> five-year-old girls drooling over Chad. You need to be put in a hole. I don't, what the fuck? Foids already have a hypergamous Chad only whore brain at the age of five. Brutal. You just call a five year old a whore? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, you freak? I think those two fellas belong in a hole. A well would do. That's a hole, just although that's a that's a fancy hole. That hole is too fancy, you know, it's got nice stones usually, a nice little roof thing on top, bucket to go down the bottom, that's too fancy of a hole for these two. I think they need to just go in a regular dirt hole. Instead of taking the prison, they should just be taken to a hole. I think this one's by an AI. Is pedophilia wrong? The question of whether pedophilia is wrong is a multifaceted and requires a nuanced answer. I don't, I don't think it does, I think it's a no. It's a big no, okay. If, if, that, if the question is pedophilia wrong was up on the stage, at X Factor. It would get all three X's. All judges would go, hit the buzzer, no more sec no second round for you. You don't get the golden buzzer. You get the buzzer that sends you down a chute into a blade contraption of some type. I'm going on something called incel tears. I'm not exactly entirely sure what that contains. Whether it's just like incels 
crying, like videos of them crying, or if it's something else. But what else could it be? Just videos. Just you just keep scrolling down, more videos going. Women be shopping. I imagine that's what it's like. I don't. Well, how about we read the about community section, shall we? I hate Reddit. I can't wait till it's bombed. I can't wait till we're bombed. Just try not to do it. Just ring it up. Just get it done with. If you're gonna do it, if China's gonna bomb Australia or take us over or something, just do it. Just get it over and done with. Stop with the little. Oh, uh, we're gonna tax your barley exports more. Who gives a fuck? Just, just shoot us. Do it. No, I'm, when I say that, um, if the AFP are watching, I'm joking. Incel Tears is a subreddit for posting screenshots of hateful, misogynistic, <laughs> couldn't be me, I love women. So much so, I would like to marry one one day. Whether they want to marry me is another thing entirely, but hey, you never know. Racist, violent, that's me in a nutshell. Not, wait, and often bizarre content. Now that's the content that I like, the bizarre. The other stuff, you know, can be funny. The bizarre stuff's always great. In the meantime, this sub will be more open to meta discussion, memes, stories, etc. Oh, I love memes. Filters by flair. Advice to the incels. Is that what that is? Okay. Incel-esque. Is that like Kafka-esque? Is that like an art thing? That's what that is, right? Kafka-esque? I don't know him. Kafka, that's, he, he does the art. He's, that's the art thing, right? I always thought it was characteristic or reminiscent of the oppressive or nightmarish qualities of Franz Kafka's fictional world. What did he do again? Yeah, wow, the castle. That was... What was the other thing? Um, Comedian that... Andy Kaufman. I always thought Kafka-esque was something to do with Andy Kaufman. I, I was way off. Not even close. This one's under just plain disgusting. That's cool. I like that tag. I didn't even know that was a tag. I didn't say that tag. On the, on the thing? Wait, there's a place called Near Cells? What does that mean? Does that mean you're close to them? Like you need like a pack? What's a pack of incels called? Sad? Misogyny and rape advocacy. What's up? So is that like one of the subreddits on near cells? Is this real? I don't want to look it up. I might be put on a fucking watch list if I do. Rage fuel. It pisses me off that anti-pedos. Why is that in quotes? Anti-pedos, yeah. Sure you're against it. Okay. Okay, pal. Not helping me settle down for my middle-aged waifu. 18 to 24, 22, sorry, 24. That would be, that'd be over the top, wouldn't it? 24. 22 years old. People who use the term waifu should be shot. Leave a like if you agree. <laughs> so he's annoyed that someone's not helping him find a... I'm not saying waifu. A woman of 18 to 22 years old. Okay. So let's see. What's his thing? He's a moderator. That's a good... That's good. Moderators are always known to be good people. Trans age. Is that like, what, you You might be 50, but you say you're 14? I don't... I don't like any, of, any part of... I don't like any of this. I just got to chill down my spine. I don't... Identify as age match for teen girls. No, you don't. You're 73, okay? Go to the old people's home. Hook up with the 65-year-old if you really need to get, get your rocks off to younger women. Stay away from the teenagers. Hello, Andy Pedo's reading this here. I'm what you call pedo. <laughs> I don't know if it's we, what you call, we call you. I think it's, you just are. I think that's just, as a human being, you are that. But, continue. I would like to have a wife of prime age. 13 to 15. <sighs> I did this to myself. If possible, or maybe a bit older. Or a bit younger. Wait, what? A bit younger? No. Mm -mm, no. I drew the line at 13, okay, buddy? They're all... <laughs> this is going to be taken out of context. Do we know this guy's address? He need, needs to be sent to the proper authorities. But I'm also open to the possibility of settling down for a middle-aged... Wife, 18 to 20 years old. I need alcohol. I need a beer. I need alcohol to get through this. So that means I can leave pedo zone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's exactly how it works, but righto. But it's hard to find 18 to 22 year old waifu. I just said I wasn't going to say it and I said it. I am an ape. I can't read a word and change the word. I'm an ape. That's not with every word, by the way. I don't read the N word and say it. I swear. Hold my hands up. Wasn't me. Good song. It's hard to find an 18 to 22 year old wife who is virgin, looks young, has youthful chuny personality. I don't know what I don't know what that is. What's what anime shit is this? I don't know what chuny is or chunny, and I refuse to look it up because again I will be put on a watch list. I mean I'm already treading the fucking line with 
being on this subreddit. So it can be, can you put a fucking few extra letters in here? So I can be classified as. Not so can be classified as. I don't care if you're a trans age eight year old or not, all right? I speak gra grammar, use grammar. Proper grammar, please. So I can be classified as legal lolly. Nothing's legal about lolly, brother. I don't care if it's a drawing, it's gross. So how about some help finding my wife? Or you not really want to help pedos? No, I, that's, that's good. I don't, I'm not really, it's not a thing I'm into. Just to hate us and feel better about it? Must be ladder. Firstly, grammar. It's just, it's so simple. It's so simple. The simplest of minds can get some grammar into their lives. It's so simple. Secondly, it is the ladder. I hate you and I feel better. I feel good. Alright, um, let me have fun. Okay, reading through that was not fun. Doing that was fun. I had fun with that. Um, Maximilian, I hope you fall into a pit. Um, Von Oshwitz, pedophile. I'm not sure if it's possible to be scummier than that. He's gonna come back as a cockroach in his next life. Hey, don't put that on cockroaches. I hate him as much as the next guy, but they don't deserve that. What is looksmax.org? I, I feel like they're just creating websites every day. I heard it. I heard what I just said. Yes, that is what the internet is. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, I don't think I could. <laughs> I don't think I could say anything stupider. Oh, that was that was rough. It's creating websites out of thin air. That's crazy. It's almost like what the internet is. Oh, fuck in the hell. Rage. My incel rage is growing every day. Seeing all these normies, LTM with girlfriends. I don't know what, what's an LTM? Is that like an LCM? Is that like a thing you eat, the LCMs? All these ugly guys that made girls laugh. What's wrong with that? Is there a problem? I've got nothing else going for me. At least I can get a chuckle every now and then, you know, come on. I get, you throw me a bar, I gotta do, there's good, I gotta do something. They all mog me. Do you mean mock? They are NT. Northern Territory. They're all from the Northern Territory. Who knew? That's crazy. Sociable. Have normal brain chemistry. Well, that's... I'm tired of seeing normal people being happy. I need a society made with only social rejects. Losers like me. That would be a world I would rather fall off of. This post so far is the personification of the song Creep, I've got to say. is just the self-pity is just... That's, that's the worst thing about it. Maybe not the worst thing. It's up there, though. The self-pity. I can't handle this anymore. Getting mogged every day by oofy doofies. Chilean Maxa. That's definitely not you, dog. If that was you, you'd be not in this. You'd be, you'd be having sex, probably. Go for a girl from the mental ward. That's, I would, no. I hate everything that I just read and I feel gross. Like, I feel like I just did something wrong. Ooh, I slash short guys. That sounds like something I could be into. I just avoid women these days, as you should. Um, <laughs> how do you avoid them? What, you, do you mean, like, talking to them? Or do you mean, like, I don't look, I'm walking past. I don't even, I kind of shy away when I'm walking past. Like a little goblin guy, as I am a short man. Not like I can get any positive reinforcement or validation from them anyway. Maybe you get it from within, buddy. That's what it's all about. If we're forced to interact for a class project or whatever, I must constantly lead the convo and entertain them to get one word replies. You're not there to have fun, you're there to get the project done, brother. I mean, I wouldn't fucking, if I was in a group with people I didn't know, I wouldn't chat with them. I feel you. I've given up romantically. He's probably 16. I love this guy's like fucking like 15 years old. He's like, I've given up romantically. I'm done. Keep moving. Do things for yourself. Ignore their very existence. Here with you, pal. This is good. This is, yeah, it's an N. Low end woman? I don't know what that means. A low, nice, nice, low. The only end I can think of is something I will not say. No siree. I just said it. Sorry, guys. Men should be dominant. That's ex that's what I am. Have you seen me? <laughs> I'm huge. You know, in scale with like a bug or something. I'm pretty. I'm pretty huge. Don't date single mums. Yeah, but. What happens if I want a MILF? How am I supposed to date a MILF if she's not a mother, nor single? I don't want to break the heart of a, of a husband. So I'm not going to go for a married woman. If I want a real, authentic one, I mean, like, you know, not just someone you go, that's a MILF. Someone who's authentically a MILF. Who's given life. 
What do I do then? Or do I just give up? I'm not giving up. I don't give. I I never give up. So no, that I reject that statement. Never accept friend zone. Do I put that in my contract? Is that something I write down? Men, don't be emotional. Emotional can mean many things. Can I laugh? <laughs> can I ponder? Can I? I don't know. They're the only two emotions I know, so I don't. In front of women, ignoring her works. What is she, Leonardo da Vinci? Her works? I don't... What does that mean? Why are women afraid of men? <laughs> I don't think they're just afraid of men. I think they're afraid of you. <laughs> is consent required? Uh, by law, I believe. <laughs> I believe it is, yeah. Men, stay away from only friends girl. Do you mean only fans girls? Or do you... Is that, is that a different site? Only friends. Do you have to pay like only fans? Is that a thing you'd have to do to get friends? I feel like that's a bad start to a friendship, paying for the friendship. It's too much. It's too much. It's, it hurt. It, I, my brain is already, I can't think of any other word than flaccid, which is alarming, but it really, it's, the brain rot in my head is already, brain rot, that'll do. The brain rot in my head is already a severe issue. I can't let this continue. Does anyone else feel scared at the moment? Is that just, just me? And you know, I am a pillar of strength and unscaredness, okay? But I'm, I'm scared. I feel like I'm going into the belly of the beast. Beasts, the belly of the beasts. How to get laid according to Reddit. Um, I disagree with that uh, headline. According to Reddit, you think, you think being hygienic is what people on Reddit think gets you laid? Yeah, maybe if you're like, according to people in the real world, that would, I would go, okay, yeah. According to people on Reddit? Have you seen people on Reddit? I mean, let's, let's just fucking just bring it back for a second. Do you know what people who frequent Reddit look like? I mean, do you, do they, do you think they're, they're hygienic? You think they shower? You think they, they scrub behind the ears? I don't think so. I mean, I wouldn't say hygiene is the main, the thing that gets you laid, but it's definitely a pillar. Definitely one of the pillars holding up the whole base. If you were less stinky, people might want to hang around you a bit more. That's all I'm saying, all right? Is that foul? Is that, well, they're foul because they're not showering, but is that rude? No, I think that's just just a fact. I want a good gentleman that knows how to treat women and not like a sex toy. Fave movie is Fifty Shades of Magic Mike. I think the most unrealistic thing about this is no one's, I don't think there's one person's favorite movie is Fifty Shades of Magic Mike. I'm sure people like those movies, but favorite movie? Have you seen? Anything else? You say you don't want to be stabbed to death, yet you love slasher movies. Yeah, that's not that's not how consuming media works. You say you love world peace, yet you watch World War II documentaries? Just because you consume a type of media doesn't mean you want that to be the case. Hmm, you say you don't want Toy to be alive, yet you watch Toy Story. Slam dunk. From the buzzer beater. From the three point line. Buckets. No one-liners, unless you're Chad. No shirtless pics, unless you're Chad. No dick pics, unless you're Chad. Must have a job, unless you're Chad. Not looking for a hookup, unless you're Chad. I have a question, are you saying this to a guy named Chad? Are you... <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want to do anything casual, unless it's Chad, then... <laughs> Come here, boy. Give me a kiss. I will not accept any dick pics under any circumstances, okay? Unless it's from Chad, then... <laughs> I'll have it. Give it here. Must be able to hold a conversation, unless you're Chad. Must have a good family relationship, unless you're Chad. No drug users, unless you're Chad. Mature men only, unless you're Chad. Must be looking for a serious relationship, unless you're Chad. I think he's trying to get the point across that these things apply unless you're attractive. But it just sounds like you want to make love to a man named Chad. I don't... <laughs> I think you could have worded this better, man. And also, can I just say, all this like Chad and Normie and Sub5 um, language, stop speaking in riddles, just speak normal, okay? Do you speak like this in public when you talk to people? Because that's probably why no one wants to look you directly in the eyes, because you speak weird. Because no one in the real world knows what Sub5 means, all right? Unfortunately, I do now, because I've made too many of these videos. Unfortunately, I have been poisoned. I'm a poison chalice, but People in the real world who haven't consumed this content just think you're weird. 
when you speak like a fucking cyborg, all right? Just speak like a human being, all right? Please, for, for your sake. Apparently getting abused is somehow her fault or something. Things women can detect. Misogynistic comments on an anonymous internet board. Things women cannot detect. Obvious red flags of abusive men. It's not her fault that psychopaths are very deceiving. You can't blame her. Don't. What's the correlation, exactly? Love that females can sense the difference in real life solely off a guy's jawline. They can? They have that power? Holy fucking shit. I was on Twitter. Is that a subsection of Twitter that I don't know about? I was on Twitter today. I know, big mistake. And all of a sudden, was fucking assaulted by this ad. I couldn't believe what I was fucking hearing. These girls love OnlyFans? I'm sure there's a few that love OnlyFans. Yes. Again, probability. There's going to be a few people that like OnlyFans. Are you... Hello? If I was making $100,000 a month on OnlyFans, I would love it too. Bomb everything. Are we that angry that someone likes a website? I mean, can we just fucking bring it down a notch? Bomb everything? I mean, I don't disagree with bombing everything, but over that, that seems petty, even for me. And I'm one of the most petty people you'll ever meet. But for me, that's a little much. Fat fucks. Let's see, what do you look like, bud? Okay? Joker? I mean, the Joker's probably, he's, you know, he's fairly thin, so I mean, that. If it is the actual Joker, then fair enough. But I doubt it. I doubt that's the real Joker, okay? Gas all the Sims. They're so self-confident and arrogant in their gesture and manner of speaking. Oh, and then there's just a Hitler. <laughs> I want to perform my own type of eugenics. It involves the elimination of all Sims and women and men remaining create people in labs instead. In Minecraft, not in real life. Why would I perform eugenics in real life? I'm not a woman. Is that a thing women like to dabble in, eugenics? I don't mean, I can't say I've heard of that one, but right here. I'd, I'd be willing to hear you out if that was the actual case. If women, if women had a fuck, we're going, yeah, we're performing eugenics, I might hear you out. But until then, until such time, you sound like an insane person. Uh, I think we can conclude this monstrosity of a video. Um, I'm just tired. Just tired, you know? Just started raining, so I think I'm just gonna walk out there and just let it soak me for a while and you know, wash all my fears and disdain away. That's that's the hope anyway. This abomination's over, so I'll see you later. Like and subscribe and um good bye. Have a good life day, night. I don't care, just have a good one. Goodbye. I love Shakespeare Drongo. Shift Wrong. 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 Wrong.